This is Painting on Glass, the Marcus Sozel podcast in English language. Listen to the stories and reflections of a singer songwriter and author. Hold on, take me back. Hold on, and take me back. It's like painting on glass. Leave a note on your door. Tell me what you're looking for. It's like painting on glass. And this is episode 30 of Painting on Glass The Old House. Leave another sign for me to find behind So I might be able to find you Show it with a trace of a smile and a love This smile be something Oh, reaching out for episode 30 today. This one is going to be really special. I can tell you. <laughs> of course, we have had two years of COVID and the danger of long COVID. And we have terrible suffering and slaughter in a senseless war in the Ukraine. I see that and I'm fully aware of it. But we also need the space to recover and that'll need word, and song. So that is why this little story, which is about to follow in an instant, was written exclusively for this podcast episode to celebrate the 13th release of it. I did not expect it to grow that fast, with only three followers, but around 730 downloads and streams. Let me thank you for following and being part of this show in all the different wonderful places of this world. I'm so grateful, I can tell you. God may bless every one of you good people. <laughs> In this house I live all alone Many things I do on my own But it's not worth to mention Nothing worth telling But how so things that every day bring. The Old House, a brief story, written by Marcus Sozel and read by the author. An old garden runs with a stream, without it would not be complete. And it just might be summer, just might be summer within the old part of town, which is all The old house has been a refuge long before I even knew it. It was like some sort of companion that hid somewhere for quite a time, someplace far out of sight and somewhere where it might seem unreal. Hard to touch, and even harder to realize in its statement upon myself. I did not trust this thought, because I was not able to. Like many a thing, truth appears in the eyes of the one that knows about it. I had not been the one to know way back then. This house was not pretty by any means. It seemed shattered and beaten down. It looked out of time, and plants had taken over command in its outer skirt. It was not really pretty. To get involved would need anything but reason. I knew that. But it had trees, lovely trees, an old garden that had gone wild. But these trees stood all among the withered green and made it shine in a different light. It lifted up my first impression and covered all the things that easily could take away any sort of interest in this place. It healed the place with its dignity. That's what a tree was able to do. And trees within this garden could do no better than this. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
I really would not go there for reasons I could mention. I was taken there. I found myself within these victims of time passing by, and among the ruins of a dream a gardener must have had long ago and before my time. It was plain to see that the guiding hand had left the place many years ago, and nature was not very sensitive to places like this, but he gave it time to act and to be sure that a mellow, uncomfortable space of land was back in his hands. I'm sure it must have been lovely way back when. I knew, when I heard the leaves trembling in the wind of this early summer day, that filled my senses and worked against my will to stay there. I felt in the way the little brook took its course right through the meadow and that laid like a wilderness right in the middle of it all. You could also sense it close beside the brick walls at its borders where the age of the house really showed. It was not to be mistaken. It was right in front of your eyes and it took me just the same way that day. What if I told you now that there were fairies the day I entered first? Would you believe me? <laughs> Would you call me insane? <laughs> Would you trust my word if I told you that there was a magic far beyond words I could write down on this very sheet now? It was. And I'm not ashamed to mention that. I'm not ashamed to confess that this place was special to me and to my eye. To the eye of someone who owned the sense for a vision to change it into something people could admire or respect among all the other gardens that shone around this garden like diamonds on a black piece of leather. Nothing is as precious as a dream or a vision that takes you dancing to another rhythm uh, you did not realize before. Nothing is able to gain this power and assurance like a piece of snow in winter that has not known the mellow days of spring. Nothing to it, nothing worth comparing to it. A refugee must look out for a place to be and make a living. He knows the moment he is face to face with its refuge, and it's a deal that takes more than just a word of agreement. It needs a dream to be fulfilled. Carol, she walked inside the office and smiled in her own way. She was a woman who knew how to sell things like houses or bigger estates. Property in any sizes or areas around town that she was willing to offer. She nodded lightly when entering the room where I had sat down only a few minutes before. You're still interested in the old house, Dan? Yes. That's why I'm here. No one comes for the same reason twice. <laughs> I do. Let's see. And she lovely sat down behind her desk that gave her the impression of being important that moment. You got something for me? Maybe. I can't tell. You have to. Show me. I will. Just give me a little more of your time, won't you? Sure. Right. While unwrapping papers from a file, she did it in slow motion. And hard to bear for someone that longed for shelter quite a long time. Does it have a garden? Yes, it does. Is it far from town? No, it's not. It's right in the middle of the old part of town. Fine. But it's sort of special, you'll see. Well, I saw what she meant the afternoon we met there a couple of days later. The house itself was not made of stone. It had an old oak wood construction and the walls were made out of strong clay. The way they used to build these houses many years ago, it looked fragile, but it was not. The roof was still intact and only a little rain had come in in recent years. This answered the most important question because fixing this roof would have been too expensive for a financial situation like mine. I could afford the house without fixing the roof. And so I did. I really fell in love with the brook that crossed the property 
at first sight. It happened in an instant, because I got charmed by the sound its waters made while flowing along. It was a sort of sound you could feel, not hear, if you know what I mean. There are some which can be too present and bothering the whole day through. This was not. It made me calm and smiling, and it gave another reason for finally buying this house. The third reason would hit you right in the face the moment you saw the old garden first. It was an old oak tree among other lovely trees that must have been hundreds of years old, and it looked like it was in a pretty good shape and condition. Have you ever wondered about some kind of magic when standing under an old oak tree? I have not, until the day I happened to look up and wondered about the whole cosmos, its branches spread out widely high above my head. My eyes found so many things in there that it felt like a universe of its own. I had an enormous respect for this fellow, and I nodded when being asked by Carol if I could imagine to buy this run-down property, which was home to the old house that stood right in the middle or center. Good choice, but you got to be patient, she said with a light smile on her face. No one's patient these days. Yeah, and the smile faded from her mouth into the wilderness of this garden. She gave me the keys to look inside, and she told me that I could keep it for the next three days, which I did. You got to be a friend to this house like this, don't you think so? Yeah, I do. I got to be somewhere in 20 minutes. You can keep the keys. Bring them back to me when you've decided what to do with all of this, okay? Now, it was me who nodded in her direction, and she left the property while walking elegantly through the wild bushes and the high grass to either side. In this house I have found a home And although I live there alone There is wonder right in there Joy that I found there on my own Simply on my own It's good to buy a house in days of sunshine Not in days of rain Well, I did not choose to do so in spring or summer, but in the passing of autumn. But this had been a warm one. Little rain and weather that didn't seem usual for a month in the third season of the year. And I visited the house and its garden many times in the days that were about to follow my first impression. I was afraid of preparing a folly or some kind of disaster. But instead, another feeling took control and it grew one of these houses even more. Little can be said about the reason I found for it. I simply gave in at last and went to Carrot's office the day we agreed to meet again. When I said that I would buy the property, she opened her desk and gave me the contract she had prepared for this day. I knew you'd buy it. <laughs> it really showed. Then you knew a lot more than I did. Not really. She smiled again. The way you smile after turning out successful from a notion or expectation you had before. Carol really seemed to enjoy this state of mind. And I must have looked a bit bewildered by being caught in this amusement. That day, I bought the old house, along with the old and lovely garden that grew wild all around it. There's a dream that I used to dream It just let me hear I see It's a place I belong to, I somehow belong to Every place in here And I know so sincere I will stay The Old House, story by Marcus Zosel Read by the author. The song is called In This House and was published online on the album Music for a Storybook in 2022. It is available to you on all the current music outlets on the internet. And please, leave a rating or review. It'll help others 
find this show. Thank you so much. Let the sun shine on through. It's all you need to do. When pain's in our hearts, lay down what you hope to find. All the things you left behind. That's pain in our hearts. We'll meet here in a few episodes to come, if you want to. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's wonderful.